After watching this video lecture, students will be able to define concentration um, as well as calculate molarity and molality. So concentration is going to be the amount of solute um, that is in a solution. Uh, basically, concentration uh, calculations is what we're going to be focusing on today. Um, so basically, a quantitative approach uh, to uh, describing what's actually present in your solution. Okay, so ways of describing uh, concentration um, are, are listed here. You can see percent by mass. This is really common with medicated creams. Um, basically, it, it tells you um, what percentage by mass the active ingredient is. Uh, versus, you know, the rest of uh, what's in the container. Um, so this is common with like hydrocortisone cream or, you know, like an acne medication. Um, percent by volume, uh, rubbing alcohol comes in like 70% or 90%. Um, basically, it's the percent of the volume that is actually the rubbing alcohol. Uh, parts per million and parts per billion uh, refer to water contaminants. And then molarity and molality, these are the two that we're gonna be focusing on today. And honestly, they're the most commonly used by chemists. So molarity, um, which is represented by big M, is equal to the moles of the solute divided by the total volume of the solution in liters. Now molarity is represented um, a lot of times uh, by a bracket, um, a set of brackets around the identity of the substance. Um, so if you see, you know, this, what's the concentration of Cl minus, um, it could be represented in this way. Um, also, uh, when we talk about the molarity of a solution, um, so like 1.0 M NaCl, this is a one molar solution of NaCl. Okay, so that's just some bookkeeping and uh, communication uh, clarification. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's look at our practice problems here. Um, so we have uh, 0 0.400 grams of KSCN. Um, it is dissolved in enough water to make 341 milliliters of solution. What is the molarity of this solution? So again, guys, molarity equals moles of solute um, divided by liters of the solution. Okay, so if we look at this, we've been told that the KSCN is dissolved in the water. So the KSCN is our solute. Okay, and the um, solutions volume is 341 milliliters. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our 0 0.440 grams of KSCN and we are going to um, put it into moles. Now we go ahead and we um, set up our conversions here. We have our 0.44 grams of KSCN being divided by the molar mass um, and that's going to be giving us 0 0.004527. Five, eight. Okay, um, that's our moles of KSCN. Okay, and then we have our milliliters of our solution. Um, so let's go ahead and move our decimal. That's going to give us 0 0.341 liters. Okay, and we put those two together. Our molarity is going to be equal to the moles of KSCN divided by our liters. Um, and that answer is going to be 0 0.013277. Um, and with Let's see, three significant figures. That'll be 0 0.0133 molar KSCN. Okay, and that's the molarity of that particular solution. Okay, now our next question is going to be how many grams of KCL would be needed to prepare two liters of a 1.0 molar aqueous solution of KCL? Okay, so um, if we go ahead and we look at this, remember that 1.06 molar means 1.06 moles of KCl for every one liter. Okay, and they want to make two liters of that. So if we just multiply by our 2.0 liters, that's going to give us 2.12 moles. Okay, and if we have our moles of KCl, we can subsequently take that and convert it into grams using the molar mass which is 74.551 grams of KCL per one mole KCL. Okay, and if we plug that into our calculator, we get 158.04 grams. Okay, to two significant figures is basically 160 grams of KCL. Okay, um, now significant figures obviously are dictating this particular number, but if we were making this solution, we'd obviously try to be closer to that actual value. Okay, um, and then this last one here, um, it's asking us what is the concentration of Cl minus? Notice those brackets there. 
in the 1.2 molar solution of CaCl2. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our molarity, um, so our 1.2 moles of CaCl2 per one liter. Okay, and we know that um, for every one mole of CaCl2, we're gonna get each of the following. Okay, so for every one mole of this, we have two moles of that. Okay, so we're gonna use our mole ratio here. So we're gonna get two moles of Cl minus for every one mole of CaCl2, and that's gonna give us 2.4 molar Cl minus as our concentration of our Cl minus in that solution. So those are our calculations using molarity. Okay, let's move on to molality. So molality, which is represented by a lowercase m, um, is the moles of solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. Okay, so notice this is solvent alone, not the total volume of solution, um, but just the mass in kilograms of the solvent. So let's go ahead and let's calculate our molality of our solution. Um, so remember molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So in this particular problem, it says, what's the molality of a solution containing 75 grams of MgCl2 and 252 milliliters of water? Okay, so uh, MgCl2 is our solute, water is our solvent, um, and we can subsequently go from there. So we're gonna take our 75 grams of MgCl2 and convert that into moles. Um, so we have 95.211 grams of MgCl2 for every one mole of MgCl2. Okay, and that's gonna give us 0 0.78772 okay, moles of MgCl2. Okay, and then we have 252 milliliters of water. Remember, we need to get into kilograms. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this into um, grams. So we know the density of water is one gram per one milliliter. Okay, um, and that's gonna give us 252 grams of H2O, which if we then move the decimal, we're gonna have 0 0.252 kilograms of H2O. Okay, and so now we have our two pieces. We put them together and we perform our calculation and we get 3.125 um, and to two significant figures gonna be 3.1 molal um, MgCl2. Okay, so we have those um, or that calculation. Now this next problem is asking us how many grams of NaCl are we going to need to make a 1.54 molal solution using 0 0.500 kilograms of water. Okay, so we have our 1.54 moles of um, NaCl per one kilogram. Okay, we're going to take that, we're going to multiply it by our half a kilogram. Okay, kilograms and kilograms are going to cancel. That's going to 0 0.77 moles of NaCl. Okay, and then we're going to use our molar mass of NaCl, which is 58.443 grams of NaCl per one mole of NaCl. Okay, we multiply those out, and that's going to give us 45 grams of NaCl. And that's what we would need to create a 1.54 molal solution um, in 0 0.500 kilograms of water. So this is how we approach the molality calculations. The main thing is that we need to make sure we're differentiating between molality and molarity. Um, please spend some time uh, writing out and organizing your thoughts in that manner.